first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Mahasham, Yahweh Shai, Mahasham, Wahavaka Kodash, and double honours to the Elder Apostles, a great millstone that teaches truth well and that continue to teach his truth well. And I want to say to Wadi Yahabai Sham Yahabashai for giving me another day to teach this word, you know? And Shalom to the brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. So without further ado, we're going to touch on a variety of topics and Lord willing this will be edifying to the hopeful elect across the globe. So we're going to start off from, um, bear me just a minute. I should have got this prepared, it's lucky. I should have got this prepared, maybe just a minute. Because this is the time, you know, to be more on fire than ever. To be serving Yahweh Shai more than ever. This is that time. Okay. What are you waiting for? Okay. Bear me just a minute. So let's go to Timothy's 4, maybe 4, yeah 4 and 2, and it says preach the word, so we're supposed to be preaching this word, continually, preach the word, okay, preach the gospel, according to your ability, according to what you can do, preach the word, okay, we ain't been given this truth just to sit upon it, okay, yeah it's a little cold out here, but so what? It's all worth it for you have a shy. That's the mentality we gotta have. Preach the word. Be instant, in season. So it says instant. Instant is continually. So in scripture says, be instant, in season. Okay. In season. Out of season. So what does in, instant in season and out of season mean? You're gonna have different seasons, you're gonna have cold, you're gonna have what? Hot, you're gonna have snow, all types of seasons. All throughout the season, we don't take no breaks at Great Millstone. Okay. In, se in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So we reprove, we exhort, we reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And that's the main thing the doctrine. Make sure you're teaching the right doctrine. And the doctrine has already been given unto us by what the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Okay. The doctrine's already been set out. Okay? So scripture says reprove, exhort with all long suffering. So that's what we're out here to do. Okay? For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. So what's that sound doctrine? What are we being taught by the elder apostles? And what does it do? It keeps us of a, of a sound mind. Excuse me if I sound blocked up. It keeps us of a sound mind. So we're supposed to stick to the doctrine that we've been taught by the elder apostles. Not sway off from that. Okay. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves. Teachers having itching ears. So we'd say in these last days, you were going to have those that would go in one ear and out the other. And they would start following a, a false doctrine. They would start having itching ears. They would not take heed to the words. That engrafted word which is able to what? Save their souls. Okay. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. So the scripture said our people, they will turn their ears away from the truth. Okay. From this, from, from this word. Okay. And shall be turned unto fables. So what's fables? False doctrines. So the scripture said our people be turned unto fables. Mermaids, Christmas, all that rubbish. Okay? And these things don't profit you. Christianity, the doctrine of hell, that's a thing. Okay? The scriptures say that. This was going to happen in the last days. Okay? Because you had this in Acts. You had the same thing going on in Acts when Paul went to um, the Athenians. They were involved in what? Different philosophies. Okay? Verse 5, but watch, though in all things, so we're supposed to be watching. Watching for what? The signs. Okay, which Yahweh has given unto us. Okay, 
But watch, they're in all things. So we're supposed to be watching in all things, watching for the time, watching for the time. Okay. Watch going all things. Everything you see going on with the news, we want to filter that. Everything. Filter that through the scriptures. Ah, oh, that said, it said it would happen here, it said it would happen there. That's filtering. Okay. That's watching. Okay. Watch going all things. Endure afflictions. Because when we come to the truth, obviously we're going to have afflictions, but you have to say it's not going to put nothing on us that we can't handle. So we have to endure these afflictions, the things we go through. Okay? All these different things. Do the work of an evangelist. What's an evangelist? Another word for an evangelist is preacher, teacher. What evangelizing? Right now what I'm doing is evangelizing. Okay? Because when people think of evangelical, they think of what? Christianity. No, this is what evangelizing right now. Okay? Make full proof of thy ministry. So this is what Yahweh requires. It doesn't say proof, it says full proof. What's proof? Evidence. So once we come into this truth, you've got to show evidence of what you're doing. Evidence of your work. And what's your evidence? Your evidence is your work. Your work for Yahweh Shai. That's the evidence. Okay. That is the evidence. Okay, so make full proof of thy ministry. Okay. For I am now ready to be offered, and my departure is at hand. This was Paul. Why did it say his departure was at hand? Because he finished. He finished what he had to do. He fought that good fight. I have fought the good fight. I have I have finished my course. Okay. I have kept the faith so Paul he finished his course and Paul he kept the faith he kept that fight of faith he endured unto the end so we have to have the same mindset no matter what comes our way we have to adopt that same mindset because if you don't you're going to end up something's going to end up happening where you go right back into the world you shouldn't have that that mentality of what if this don't work out no this is all we got as the disciples said, what are we going to do? Where shall we go? So you, we ain't got no choice but to endure. And the more you're in this word, the more Yahweh is going to be, be able to sup with you and deal with you. So you endure. Okay? The less you're in this word, the more likely you are to go back into the world. And stop caring about the truth. Okay? Excuse me. Okay, this is a constant thing. You've got to make full proof of your ministry, full proof, full evidence. Okay, full evidence of what you're doing. So if you have proof, it's there, it's clear. That's why the scripture say, "Give full diligence to make your calling and election sure." Verse eight: Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which Paul was speaking of. Okay. Paul, the, the Apostle Paul, he is speaking of this, a crown of righteousness. And who's going to give him that crown? Yahweh Shai. So there's a crown of righteousness laid up for the elect. Okay? Those that wait upon Yahweh Shai. Okay? Which the Lord Yahweh Shai, the righteous judge, which Yahweh Shai, he is a righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Okay? So we believe in the same thing that if we continue, Yahweh Shai has gone what? He's gone crown us. And he is that righteous judge and he judges righteously. And he's judging everything that's going on right now. Okay? He's that righteous judge. Okay? Shall give me at that day. And that's what we're waiting for. No money in the world, nothing can compare to what we're going to gain if we endure. Okay? This is what we're waiting for. This is what we're fighting for. Nothing in this world is nothing. You can't compare nothing. Not no type of fame, no type of money. Nothing can sub, sub, substantiate, if that's the right word I'm using, for the kingdom of heaven, for that crown. Okay? Nothing. 
Okay. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. To all those that love Yahweh Shai's appearing, they're going to be crowned. The elect are going to be crowned with everlasting righteousness. Okay, not, not a physical crown. Actually, no, it is going to be a physical crown and it's going to be a spiritual crown. Okay? And that's going to be given to the men that overcame this world. Okay? That overcame this system. Okay? And all those that love his appearing, so the elect, they're going to love Yahweh is appearing. Okay? Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me, for Demas have forsaken me. So this is Paul speaking. Who was Demas? Someone that was laboring with the Apostle Paul. And he went right back into the world. So you're going to have individuals that were wanting the truth and they forsake you. They go right back into the world. Okay? That's why you've got to be in this for yourself. There is a sense of selfishness and there's a self of selfless and there's a self, there, there's, um, you've got to be selfish as well in some manners. Okay? For Demas have forsaken me. Having loved this present world. So Demas, he was getting caught up with the affairs of this world. Okay? So guess what? He couldn't do the truth. I mean, the scriptures say in Timothy's, a good soldier does not entangle himself with the affairs of this world. So what soldiers? So we're not supposed to get caught up. A soldier does not get caught up with the affairs of this world. A soldier is um, focused on what? The mission at hand. The, the soldier is, he, he's focused on the war. That war, that present time. He's not focused on everything else around him. Okay? He's only focused on the war. So that's how we're supposed to be. Okay? That's how we're, you, it's true. You've got to have a soldier's mindset. Okay? you got to have a soldier's mindset in this truth. Okay? And it's departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus, and to Demotia. Only Luke is with me. Okay? The disciple Luke, take Mark, bring him with thee. For he is profitable to me for this ministry. So you have a shy, so like your Paul, he took along Mark and Luke because they were profitable to the ministry. Okay, the rest of the people, they weren't profitable. They were unprofitable. Okay. So Yahawashai, he's, look, he's looking for those that are profitable to the ministry. Okay. So you're going to have individuals that were once laboring with you, and they go right back into the world. Okay. They lose the faith. Okay. Um, bear me just a minute and I don't know if I'm saying the, the name right. Ty, 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 Ty Kukus, Ty Kukus. Have I sent to Ephesus? The cloak that I left at Trojus with Carpus, okay, which is a garment, okay. The cloak I left with um, Trojus with Carpus, when I come as bring with thee, okay, and the books, but especially the parchments. Okay, because Paul was traveling a lot. So Paul, there'd be times where he would leave particular things with other the, the, the disciples. But Paul was saying, nah, bring all these things. Okay. Let's go to verse 14. Alexander the coppersmith. Okay. Did me much evil. What's coppersmith? A worker of what? Smith. Okay. A worker of metal. Alexander the coppersmith. Did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. So even Paul was saying, all right, he was laboring with Alexander the coppersmith. And this man, it doesn't tell you what he done, but obviously he was wicked. So um, Paul actually put a curse on him. Said what? Reward him much evil. Okay, so, that's, so obviously something happened to Alexander the coppersmith. Okay, obviously he was rewarded evil for what he done to Paul. Okay. So yeah, there's, there's instances in the scriptures where the apostles and the disciples, what, they put curses 
and wish evil upon particular men that weren't right. Okay? Of whom be thou aware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. So he was withstanding the words of Paul. So you can imagine what Paul was telling him. Paul was probably telling him, do the work. Paul was, Paul was admonishing him according to righteousness. So guess what? You can actually put curses and wish evil upon people that are not taking heed to this word. You can do that. Okay? If someone's backing up against this word, yes, you can wish evil upon them. Okay? According to the scriptures, we can do that. Okay? For he greatly withstood our words. So what does withstand mean? To refrain. Okay? At first, arch no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray the most high that it may not be laid to their charge. So there were certain men that, was, that um, left Paul, but he said, no, nah, I, I don't lay it to their charge. Okay? Don't impute that sin to certain, certain individuals that were of the elect. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. But by me, preacher might be fully known. So the Lord was, all, for all these things Paul was going through, Yahweh was strengthening him. Okay, continually. Okay. He was being strengthened. Okay. And that by me, preacher might be fully known. And that all the Gentiles might hear. Who were these Gentiles? Israelite foreigners, because they weren't of the other nations, because salvation is just pertaining to the nation of Israel. And that's it. Okay. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. <laughs> okay. So Paul was delivered out of the mouth of a lion. Okay. Through what? The mercy of Yahweh Shai. Okay. The Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. That's the confidence Paul had. And that's the same confidence we got to have. From every evil work. So you got men bugging out. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna hem you up, bro. Just worry about today. The scriptures tell you that in Matthew six. Worry about today because the evil is sufficient enough. Do we go into prophecies about particular things that are gonna happen? But guess what? The men of the Lord are gonna be alright. The men of the Lord are gonna push a faithful spirit. The men of the Lord they're not gonna be hiding in the woods somewhere. Okay. The men of the Lord are not gonna be hiding in the damn woods. Okay, where nobody can see them. That's that's the spirit of what? Fearfulness. That's the spirit of doubt. Okay, the men are going to have a shot. The men of the Lord are going to be out on the highways and byways. The highways and byways are where traffic is, where people are walking past. Okay. The highways and byways, there ain't no forest, no empty forest. Okay. And if you're doing that, guess what? You're doing the work deceitfully. I don't know if the elder apostles taught you that, but it says in the scriptures, the highways and byways. So if you're doing anything else except from that, then you, guess what? That judgment is coming upon you. Okay? And if men are teaching you that, you better separate yourself from them. Because they're leading you in a way of destruction. Okay? Because they don't believe themselves. Okay, so take heed to these words. The scripture says, go out into the highways and byways and bid them to the marriage. Not the forest. Hear them out. The guys that are doing that, it's why? Because they're in an unbelieving spirit. So because they're in an unbelieving spirit, guess what? They want you to be in that spirit also. Okay? They want you to be in an unbelieving spirit. Okay? So take heed to these words. Because Yahweh Shai already laid it down, what we should be doing. Okay? Out in the forest, bugged out. Bugged out. Okay? So bear me just a minute. Let's go to... And, I will preserve, and, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. Yahweh is what is going to preserve his men. What? Unto a heavenly kingdom. Okay? Preserve. So when you're preserving something, just like, you know when you preserve some alcohol? That's how Yahweh is going to preserve his men from the impending danger. And that's what you have to believe. If you don't believe that, then why are you doing this? If you don't believe that you're going to be sick, here it is, you're doing all this work, but you believe that the Lord's just going to leave you out there. No. 
He ain't just going to leave you out there if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for him. You know what I'm He's going to fight for you. You have to believe in that. Where's your faith? Where's your faith? There's only a few men in these times that really, really have faith. That really believe in this thing. Okay? Salute Pris Prisca and Aquila. So these were helpers of what? Paul. Okay? And the house of, I don't know if I'm saying it right, one Cephalus, Erastus, and they all had Greek names. I borrowed that Corinth, and that's spiritual because Corinth is Greece. Okay? So you had helpers. Paul had many, many, many helpers. Same thing in his truth. Not everybody's going to be a prophet. Not everybody's going to be a prophet. You're going to have helpers, but they're still part of the body. Okay? The helpers are still a part of the body. Okay? They're still a part of the elect. Okay? I have left Militum sick. So there were certain individuals that were also sick. You have brothers in this truth that are very poorly. You have brothers in this truth that are very sick. Okay? But guess what? They, they're still a part of the body. Okay? Do thy diligence to come before winter. Ebelus greeted thee. Pudens, Linus, Claudia, all thy brethren. Lord Jehovah Yahweh be with thy spirit, grace be unto you. So these were epistles. These were letters out to the churches, out to the helpers. Okay. These were all what? Letters, epistles. That's an epistle. Epistle is a letter. Okay. That was written to the churches. So these same things, these are letters. The same electrical epistles we do, these are actual letters. Okay unto the churches letters of rebuke letters of exhortation letters of admonition okay so now we're going to get straight to um prophecy there in just a minute have to warn our people man bear me just a minute bear me just a minute Let's get into these prophecies because prophecy is key. Okay. Of the things that are about to come, because there's going to be many, many calamities that are about to come. Bear me just a minute. Let's go to Let me see, let me see Because what are we really doing? We're out here to Because we want our people to repent Okay We want our people to repent We want our people to come back To Yahweh Shai Okay, but only a remnant, only a remnant are going to come back to Yahweh Shai. Only a remnant are going to be seeking Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12. And there's a lot of meat. Let's start with chapter 12 and verse 16. Okay, for that power is the beginning of righteousness. Okay, and whose power? Yahweh Yahushua's power. It's the beginning of righteousness. The beginning, not the end. Because Yahweh what is the beginning. Okay, of righteousness. And because thou art Lord of all, it maketh thee to be gracious unto all. But gracious unto what? Israel. Not to the other nations. Okay. For when men will not believe that thou art full of power, okay, thou showest thy strength. So, you know when you have scoffers, scorners, doubters, that's when you have a show shows. So you may have an individual say, I don't believe, I don't believe in God. Then what? 
the Most High will send an example, a miracle, right before them, so they have no choice but to believe. Okay, why? Because it's in Yahushua's power. Okay, let's go. For when men will not believe that are full of power, okay, thou shalt be thyself. Okay, strength. Okay. Like a day show is thyself righteousness because that our Lord unto all for when men will not believe that are full of power, okay. Thy show is thy, okay. Strength. Among men, okay. That's what Yahushua does, he shows his strength. So a man may say, Nah, you know what? I don't really believe in that. And the, the, the lover end up showing his strength, okay. Power, okay. And among them that know it, that make us their boldness manifest. So, Yahushai, it's not of ourselves. It's Yahushai that makes our boldness manifest. Bear me just a minute. Let Satan go past. Okay. Okay. But thou mastering thy power judges with an equity. So Yahweh Shai, everything you see, he judges with equity. So a man can't say misjudgment. That was a misjudgment. Man can have misjudgment, but Yahweh Shai, his judgment is what on point. Okay. The Lord Yahweh Shai does not judge wrongfully. His judgment is on point. Okay. But our mastering that power judges with equity. What's equity? Equity means fairness without partiality. Okay, so that's what the Lord does. When he judges, he judges with fairness. When the Lord Lehabashai judges, he counts everything, he weighs everything's in the balance. Everything's weighed in the balance. Okay? And orders us with great favour, for thou mayest use power when thou will. So he orders us. What does that mean? He shows our paths. He controls our ways. Okay. But by such works has thou taught thy people that the just man shall be merciful. So he also, because Yahweh is merciful, he also teaches us to be merciful also. Because how are you going to receive mercy if you don't show mercy? So again, there's a, there's a balance to this truth. Okay, there's a great balance to this truth. He showeth those what merciful to those that are merciful. Okay, and has made thy children to be of a, be of a good, be of a good and holy repentance for sin. So, yeah, we believe that. And repented for what our sins. That's what we believe. Okay. That's what we believe. Okay, because if you don't believe that, then you're wasting your time. You have to believe that Yahushua is going to forgive you. Because if you don't, if you don't believe that, then how do you expect to be saved? If you don't believe Yahushua is going to have uh, mercy on you for your sins. For if thou didst punish the enemies of, the, of thy children, the other nations, okay, and condemned to death, and are condemned to death with such deliberation, giving them time and place, okay, whereby they might be delivered from their malice. So there's plenty of examples of our people who have been given mercy for a long time. But some of them were condemned, why? Because they didn't take heed. So it's the same today. Okay? That's why, guess what, you've got to take heed to these words. Take heed. Okay? Whereby they might be delivered from their malice. With how great circumspection didst thou judge thy own sons. 
for the children of Israel, we were judged. So how more are these other nations? Okay. Their own sons who unto their fathers that have sworn and made covenants of good promises. Okay. With who? Abraham. And what was that promise? That he would not destroy his seed, that he would make a complete promise that we would inherit that land of what? Canaan. Forever. Okay. Now is, now is, therefore, where was that has that trusted us, that scourge is our enemies a thousand times more? So you got to count that grateful. You know when you're being chastised? And guess what? You chastise our enemies. What does it say? Seven thousand times more. So we're being chastised, but it's not beyond measure. So guess what's happening to our enemies? Our enemies are going to be chastised seven times, thousand times more. That means double. I don't want to know what type of destruction is going to come upon them. Okay. To the intents that when we when we judge, we should carefully think of the goodness. We should and we should look for mercy. Okay. So even when we judge, we're, we're looking for that same we're looking for that same mercy, the same judgment we give out. That's why we're balanced when it comes to judgment, especially when it comes to our own people. We're very what? Balanced in how we judge. Okay. We're not, we're not, we're not tyrannical when we, when, we, when we judge. We do that in balance and we do it through the scriptures. Okay. Whereas, therefore, whereas men lived dissolutely. Okay, in other words, how they wanted to. Okay, dissolutely and unrighteously that has tormented them with their own abominations and you can already guess what them abominations are idolism any type of form of wickedness so again those that want to do what they want to do and don't want to take heed to this word they're going to be tormented with what? the own wickedness that they're committing they're going to be given over to their own wickedness okay love saith the Lord okay that has tormented them with their own wickedness. Okay? Yeah, for they went astray very far in the ways. Okay. Of error. And hell for them gods. And what's that? The idols. Okay. That was them idols that they were worshipping. Which even among the beasts of their enemies were despised being the seek as children of no understanding. Why? Because they were worshipping what? Idols. So if you're worshipping idols, that means what you're a child of what? No understanding. And that's why these judgments came. That's why we went into captivity. Because we were doing these things. Okay? Therefore, unto bear me this minute. And we're despised being the seekers children with no understanding. So we're gonna have those back here again today. They're gonna be deemed as children of no understanding. Because if you did understand, you would know that. Obviously, you have a saviour, and his name is Yahweh Shai. If you actually had understanding, you would know that. You have a power, you have a creator, and his name is Yahweh Shai. So if you had understanding, you would know that. You wouldn't be chasing after other idols. A man of understanding would know that. Okay? Wherefore unto them as the children without the use of reason, okay, God just sent a judgment to mock them. So that judgment was the recompense of what? Their own wickedness. Okay, and it was said what? To mock them. Okay. Which was what? Wild beast. Okay, but they would not be reformed by that correction. So we're going to have the two thirds. They're not going to be reformed to the correction. Okay. To the correction of these scriptures. They're going to continue celebrating Christmas, 
celebrating birthdays, celebrating Halloween, okay, celebrating Easter, doing what they want to do. Okay. Why? Because they're children of no understanding. Okay. Getting involved with these other philosophies, Christianity, they're gonna continue doing that. Why? Because they're children of no understanding. Bear me just a minute. Okay. Even when it comes to Christianity, even when it comes to that, our people, they wanna worship, they wanna worship the Lord's their own way. Okay. That's how our people are. Like, it's already written down how we're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. But our people don't want to do it that way. Our people, they want to do it their own way. So they're going to have to be taken out. Bear me just a minute. That's why our people, they're going to have to be taken out. Because they don't want to take heed to these words. Because the prophets are there. The prophets are out here telling you what to do. But our, our people, they want to do the opposite. So guess what? There's going to be a judgment for that. Unless you take heed to these words. And the elect are going to be the only ones that do take heed to this word. Okay? The engrafted word which is able what? To save your soul. Okay? Because we're not out here for all of Israel. We're not out here for the whole nation of Israel. We're only out here for what? The, the one two and four. An elect. Okay, a remnant according to election. And what does election mean? Electios. Okay. That's the election. Okay, a certain group of men. Okay, that will what? Being to be saved. Okay. Like, that's a spirit because had an individual that just walked past, okay, got shit locks in his head, okay, and he, you know, he's shaking his head like this ain't the truth, but that's what the scripture's saying. Our people are lost, our people don't want to know the truth, okay, okay. Our people are headstrong in what? Wickedness. Our people are headstrong in lies. So they're going to have to die in their sins, okay, got shit locks in his head. Let me just a minute. You know? Maybe just a minute. For look. Reverend, he dallied with them. What does mean dallied means? Tarried. See, the Lord is very long suffering. Okay? The Lord gives you a chance. You know, the Lord is very merciful. But there's a balance, okay? So what, he dallied with them, okay? Bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. With, with them shall fill a judgment worthy of the Most High. So those that don't want to get down with this truth, guess what, there's going to be a horrible punishment. And this is according what, to the two thirds. Merciful, but our people, they're not going to listen. Okay, they're not going to listen. So when that judgment comes, when that judgment comes upon you, don't, don't come running. Don't come running to us when that judgment happens. When certain things happen, don't come running to us. Because you were warned. Okay? You were warned. You were told. And this, this even goes to men that come around the camp. Come, up, come around the camp, but... They're not taking heed to the words. Okay, so get, what do you think is going to happen? Do you, just, do you just think you can come to camp and not take heed and have a nonchalant mentality? How about this, and just go back home, scoff and talk shit and eat your popcorn? No, you're going to be judged. Okay. Today shall for a judgment worthy of the Most High. So the judgment is going to be worthy. Okay. And the elder, one of my elders bring out a very, very good point. You know? What? If, 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 if the power's with you, this is for the individual on the left-hand side, if, if you claim to have all this power, why are you hiding yourself? Okay? You Satanist, why are you hiding yourself? Come out into the open. Why are you hiding between the bushes? Why are you hiding in your secret covert? 
Why are you hiding in your meetings? Come out here and declare yourself. Why? Because you know there's no, there's no real power in the left-hand side. The left-hand side has deceived you. Because who controls the left-hand side? The Heavenly Father. So you're in a trick bag. There's nothing you can do. Okay, you can pray to Satan all you want, but Satan ain't gonna help you. Satan's gonna leave you. He's gonna leave you stranded. Okay? You think men don't see? And this ain't just talking about the elites, this is talking about anybody that's doing things on the left hand side. You think men don't see? Okay, your prognosticators, your witches, your warlocks, your stargazers. Okay? Your tablet card readers, they're not gonna save you. They tremble, the scriptures, the demons even fret and tremble. You know? There's only one true power that gives wisdom. Daniel said it. What happened when um, Nebuchadnezzar had them mad guys trying to break down the interpretation? They couldn't do it. Why? Because the power was not with them. The power was with what? The heavenly father, Yahweh Yahushai, which was given unto Daniel to interpret them dreams. Okay. Do people on the left hand side, do they have knowledge? Yeah, but it's the knowledge of wickedness. You know? The people on the left hand side, they don't really know the, they don't know the prophecies. Why do you think the elites, they're watching us? Because the men of the Lord, they have the prophecies. You can only go so far on the left hand side and that's it. And once you're done, them, them demons, they're going to what? They're going to chase you. Them demons are going to torment you. That's why when you see people getting into the, the left hand side energy, what ends up happening to them? They end up bugging out, committing suicide, or something ends up happening to them. Because them demons, what do they do? They, once, they, once they leave you, you're, you're tormented. That's why you've got to be careful what you get yourself involved in. You okay? So bear me just a minute. Verse 27, for look for what things they grudge when they were punished. Okay. That is for them who they thought to be God, which is idols. Because there's only one true fellow and his name is Yahabai Shum, Yahabashai. Now being punished in them when they saw it, they acknowledged him to be the true power. So once that judgment goes out, that's when people are going to acknowledge the true power. Because right now, not everybody is acknowledging the true power. So they're going to have to acknowledge him when that judgment comes. Okay. Whom they before denied to know, and therefore came extreme damnation. What's damnation? Condemnation. So that judgment's going to have to come because people are not taking heat. Okay, upon them. So, two thirds of our people, no matter how much you're teaching them, they're not going to be reformed according to this word. They're going to have to get judged because they're not taking heat. Okay, so, and it goes for all of us. It goes for all of us. Take heed to the word. Listen, don't harden your heart. Do not harden your heart. Because really, it's Yahweh Shai that's in control of that. But at the same time, you want to be open. You don't want to be coming to camp and have a bad mind. To, but you know what? You're not in control of that. Again, that's up to Yahweh Shai. That's not up to you, whether you receive this word or not. That's up to Yahweh Shai. That's why you got to fear Yahweh Shai. That's why you got to do what's pleasing to him. Okay? If you're doing what's pleasing to Yahweh Shai, he's going to make a way for you. He's going to sup with you. The reason why the Lord can't stop with you because you're not open, he's not opening up your mind. You're hardening your heart. Okay. Let's go to Romans, Baba Kasha. Because Christians, Christians, they some Christians, they were no, some Christians were no particular precepts. They were no. You know, you ask a Christian about particular precepts, they know of some of them. But when it comes to applying, when it comes to their understanding, that's where they go wrong. That's where Christians falter. Okay? Let's go to Romans 10. 
Okay. And this goes into what? The ignorant, when you actually go to the top of the page, it talks about ignorant zeal. So our people have a zeal, but it's an ignorant zeal. It's ignorant. Okay. Walking past a woman yesterday and she was saying, she was singing praises, Elohim, Elohim. So that's a zeal. And I believe she might have been an Israelite, but it's an ignorant zeal. You see what I mean? So our people, they know of a Most High, they know of a Creator, but they worship the Creator in ignorance. They're not worshipping Yahweh in truth. Okay? And that's where the men of the Lord come into play. Okay? So let's go. Bear me just a minute. Romans 10. Brethren, my heart's desire. So Paul, the Apostle Paul, his heart's desire, which mind what he wanted, okay, to pray and to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. So Paul, he prayed for all of Israel that they might be saved. But guess what? That was against Yahweh Shai's will. That was against his will. Okay. That was against his will. Okay. Some demo demonic, you can feel people's energy as well. People's demonic energy. Because everything is energy. You feel that when people walk past it. Okay. That they might be saved. Okay. For I bear them record that they have a zeal. So our people, they have a zeal. But what type of zeal is it? It's not a zeal according to truth. It's an ignorant zeal. Okay. Of the most high. Okay. But not according to knowledge. So they have a zeal, but it's not according to the knowledge of the scriptures, the truth of the scriptures. It's not according to that. Okay. It's an ignorant zeal. That's so why when you ask a Christian, when you bring out the truth of the scriptures to a Christian, okay, like example, the concern to age of marriage, they bug out. When you bring out the Lord Jehovah he kills, he make it for life, they bug out. Oh, what? No, the Lord kills? Of course he kills. Okay? Of course he kills. He controls all things. You know? We're looking at it like, oh, no, no, that's Satan. Or even if you say it's Satan, well, who controls Satan? The Heavenly Father, so it's the most high that kills. And he makes it for life. It tells you that in Samuel's what? Four and six or two and six. Okay, so that's Christians. That's the misnomer they have. Christians don't really understand the Bible. Okay, they don't actually understand the truth of the Bible. Okay, they have a big misunderstanding. Okay. For they be ignorant of the Most High's righteousness. So it's just ignorant. And when you go into that word ignorant, it goes into idiotus. Idiotus. Okay, in ignorant zeal, in the yatos. Okay, which means not wanting to know, shunning. Okay, they have a zeal. Okay, but not continuous for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness. Because the righteousness, where's see, how do you learn righteousness? How do you know what the Most High's righteousness is by reading the scriptures? So, if you're to so see. Christians, they might read a particular scripture, they read, they read a few scriptures, the scriptures that make him feel good, and they put the Bible down. The scriptures that fit their feelings, and they put the Bible down. Okay. And going about to establish their own righteousness. So Christians, what do they do? Christians, they establish their own righteousness. What they think to be right. That's why you have Christians, they will, they will read a scripture, Okay, you've got Christians that will read a scripture and they will fit it to their emotions. That's what, that's what a Christian would do. So there would be particular scriptures like pork. The scriptures tell you don't eat pork. And guess what? You have those that will justify it. Oh, you know, it's not what goes in the man, it's what comes out. Okay, yeah. But that's talking about what your speech. That's speaking about your speech, what goes into your mind. Philosophies. Okay. That's what, that's what Yahweh was making that point. That doesn't mean you can eat what you want. So Yahweh, he, he was, the reason he was saying that because you had Pharisees that were saying, he's eating with our mosh hands, you know? 
So Yamsha was making that point. That doesn't matter. Okay? That's why the scripture says, with all that getting, get understanding. Because the Pharisees, they were more focused on the outwards. The things of the outward. Okay? That's what they were more focused on. They weren't focused on the inward man. They weren't really... Them Pharisees, they weren't really focused on the matters of faith. They were more focused on the other things. They weren't already really focused on faith as, and things as such. They were more focused on the, the, the traditions of men. Okay, the traditions of washing your hands.